Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Screwball Toy Hunts back here with another video for you guys today. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Spider-Man No Way Home Deluxe Green Goblin. That is right, guys. Probably one of my most anticipated figures of 2023 has finally hit my doorstep. So we're going to review it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see if the hype is real, if it was worth $50, and everything like that. But before we do that, thank you so much for joining me. Can we get 100 likes on today's video? That would be the best way to help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button. And speaking of growing the channel, we are doing a giveaway. We are giving away a Marvel Legend of your choosing once we hit 3,000 subscribers. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content on the channel, and last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section and other comment sections on what your favorite memory of all time with Marvel Legends is. And like I said, 3,000 subscribers, and I will pick the winner. So there is that. So I'm not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's get into the review. So this week is Spider-Man week. I am dedicating this week to Spider-Man. So we have this figure to review. We have MJ to review. We have Tom Holland's final swing suit to review. We got Andrew to review. And we got Toby to review. So we have a bunch of stuff to review. Uh, I'm still looking for Matt Murdock and Sandman. But unfortunately, uh, I don't have them yet. Now, hopefully this week I find them. I think I will um, target, uh, as you see. Well, you will see in a, a, a future toy hunt. I don't have enough content to post it yet, but um, I found all of these at my Target. I got this at Hasbro Pulse, so although the funny thing is, is I found this yesterday. I didn't buy it. I left it there, you'll, which you'll see in the video eventually, because I already had this coming, which I got this from Hasbro Pulse. So, all right, not going to waste any more of your guys' time. Let's get into it. So, of course, we got a plasticless packaging, you know, probably one of the last times you're going to see this. And I will say, though, be warned if you buy this at retail. I have seen a lot of repacks with this figure already at retail from online and Facebook groups I'm in and things like that. So be warned if you buy this at Target to make sure that it's sealed because there's a good chance, well, not really good, but there's a chance that your figure could be repacked. So here's the front, Spider-Man No Way Home, Green Goblin. You got a nice sketch there. I don't really look like... Willem Dafoe, uh, but we'll we'll just let that pass. Don't know what that's about. On the side, we have a render, a digital render on uh, the back here. No read up, but just shows you all what we get. We get, uh, you know, we'll get pumpkin bomb, a, a hoodie, the mask, which I am most definitely looking forward to seeing. A glider with a stand. Um, so yeah, like I said, this figure was fifty dollars. Now the Spider-Man Retro line in 2020 released a Green Goblin with pretty much similar stuff to this and charge $20. So we're going to see if this is worth the extra $30, or I like to call it the Spider-Man tax. Of course, Spider-Man figures, for whatever reason, like this, are more pricey than other stuff. I, I don't know why. It's a Sony thing, I think. I'm not entirely sure. And of course, we have the Spider-Man uh, Tom Holland logo on the top. So there's nothing else to do except, uh, except oh, of course, I, I forgot to show this. There's a, another digital render and that does not look like Willem Dafoe at all. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what that's about. But there's no other thing to do unless until it's uh, time to open it up. So, I hate to open this up. But, you know, there's no, um, what's it called? There's no plastic packaging to this. So, you can't see the figure from the inside anyways. I wish they would have done a plastic version of this. It would have been nice. Um, so, when you open the box, here's what you get. You get another box in a box. And when you open this up, if I do this correctly... Okay, here you go. So you open it up like this, like a brand new toy, and there it is, man. That is that is nice. I will say that is nice. Um, I am a huge OG Raimi Spider-Man trilogy guy, and it is about damn time that we get a a Raimi villain in Marvel Legends form. It's been I don't I, this might be well aside from Sandman that just came out. Um, they this is, I think this is the first Hasbro figure since two thousand eight. That we've gotten some Raimi like Spider-Man stuff. So we're going to take this out very carefully. So we're going to put this to the side. This that, That's pretty heavy. Um, pumpkin Bomb is taped up. So let me take this off the screen right quick. Because I don't want this to fly out my hand. Which I feel like it's going to. There we go. That little piece. We got 
a stand, which will come in handy. We got, I assume these go on the glider. I'm just taking a guess. I don't know. There's no instructions here. I'm just taking a guess. And we got, let's see here. We, we got the mask, which is awesome. And last but not least, we got Mr. Norman Osborne himself looking all fine and dandy. Of course, he comes with accessories on him as well. We'll set him because he's not standing there. I'll, I'll throw out to the side. All right. So where do we start? <laughs> That's the question. Where do we start? There is just so much going on here. Um, I will say off a of first glance, $50 price tag. Is it worth it? I mean, sure. I mean, I'm going to say sure. Um, I, I do think that um, $50, though, it, it is a little too much for this figure. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, but again, we'll have to wait and see. So the first thing I guess we're going to review is, I guess, the stand and the glider. I think that's how we're going to go about this, right? And can he stand? Yeah, okay, he can stand. Perfect. So, I, okay, he's standing. All right, good. So let's look at the glider first. We'll look at the glider, and then we'll work on the figure, because I think the figure is probably the thing that everyone wants to see so all right let's talk about the glider so the glider of course comes with this stand and you put it like this i think and there are a yeah there's a peg hole on the bottom of this as you see right there and i'll do this off screen so i don't knock my phone over all you do is plug this bad boy in like this actually you don't even plug it in i don't think i think it just stands on its own right is that what i'm trying to figure out here i've never actually used a a stand before so this is all new to me do you just put the thing on like this i mean it's i guess right is that how it's supposed to be done because it's not clicking in or am i just dumb that's the real question i don't think it's supposed to click in it's not clicking in so how okay see now this is confusing i know i'm probably dumb as a box of rocks with this but how on earth does this stay on here without falling off that is the million dollar question okay there you go oh and i had it i had it for a second but either way well, we ain't gonna worry about that i'm that'll take me literally 15 minutes to figure out probably so let's look at the glider so the glider has a nice silver and purple panel look to it and he has some nice stakes and look at this i didn't even know this is even a thing look at that kind of looks like a star wars ship man kind of looks like uh Darth Vader's ship to a sense. Oh, look at that. So it even folds open like that. Um, it folds back in like that, right? Yeah. It doesn't click. There you go, like that. Okay, so it clicks in. And so, yeah, it comes with these two things, which I assume are the feet holes or the, the thing. So I'll put I'll do this off camera as well so I don't knock my phone over. So, yeah, there's a hole. Yeah, so you plug that in just like that, right? Just like that on each side and it doesn't matter what side's which it doesn't say left or right so i'm just putting them in either way uh, i don't know if there's a if there's a thing to go about it or not but uh, let me let me figure out how to do this one now this one's giving me a little bit of trouble let's see here okay like so right there you go so that's in as well huh i will say i will say this about the glider i do not like how easy it is to it's not snapping into place. Look at that. It's it's like not snapping into place once you open it. I don't like that. I don't I do not like that. Um for figure display purposes, that is not good because at any given point, like when you have it on here, which I assume a lot of people are probably gonna have it on this on this glider, it's just gonna fold open. It's just gonna fold open. So I'm gonna have to finagle with that and see what that's all about. I do not like how that is like it's very jittery. That's the best way to put it. Very jittery. Uh all right, well, the glider overall, I, I think, is good. I think the glider is okay for, for, for what you get. And, of course, look at this next is a pumpkin bomb. It's literally a, a literally a, a round ball with a singular green dot on it, so which kind of disappointing um, because in the movies, of course, you guys know it is not like this at all in the movies. It has texture to it and, and divots and, and things like that, so kind of uh, cheap on Hasbro to do that. 
It's literally just a, a orange ball with a green dot on the top, and that is it. So we'll put that to the side. Um, that could easily be lost. That is very small. Uh, I assume it fits in his hands pretty well, but uh, it's already rolling away off my table here. So be careful with that. If you have children around, they could definitely get a hold of that and swallow it or something. So, of course, next, let's look at the mask. And, man, this is good, man. <laughs> this, this is good. Um, this is awesome. Uh you know, the, the green eyes, the teeth are all like the, the, the design it's with this, you know, the ears, the little tail on the top of the head for the, the, the hat would be in the comic, you know, comic reference there. Um, this is awesome, man. This is, this is good, some good stuff right here. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely displaying the goblin with the mask on. Um, so yeah, let's get to the figure now. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of of this figure so the first thing that we always look at here on the channel is can he stand on his own without me trying to there perfect he stands on his own that's always an a plus in my book so let's look at let's look at the the figure first with the with the uh hooded look on so of course this look is from later in the movie of course if you watch no way home this part is is from where he ditches the mask and breaks the mask and gets a hoodie and whatever this is like the final fight uh, scene, I guess, look. Um, so, of course, he comes with these glasses, which we'll take off now. I'm not going to really display them with the glasses. I don't think I need to. Um, they're actually giving me a little bit of trouble. They got these on here. Tough, man. Holy crap. Are these actually supposed to come off or not? I don't actually know. I, I think they're supposed to, right? Or are they goggles? That's the thing. Are they goggles? I don't know. They're literally not coming off. I don't know if I'm trying to... I'm not trying to break them. That's the thing. I think they're actually goggles. Let me look on the box. Where are they goggles? I don't know. I, the, I threw the box away. Either way, you got the hooded there. You got the hood. Kind of like co a classic comic goblin with the hood, um, of course. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head off. There you go, like so. And what we'll do is we will review. Let me see here. Let me see how this actually works. Because, are these glasses goggles? I think they are. Yeah, they are. Look at that. They're goggles. They're goggles. That's why I couldn't take them off. See, look. They're, they're wrapped around his head. So all you do, you just pop this hood off right here like that. And then all you do is take this, move it down like that. And there you go. And there is Norman Osborn. And that is a very, very good Willem Dafoe head sculpt. That is pretty good. That might go down as the best Marvel Legends head sculpt all year. No joke. Very good stuff there. Very, very good stuff. So put that to the side. And I saw a lot of other people taking this hoodie off. I don't know how to do it. I don't think I can do it, actually. I think, like, whoever I saw, like, cut it open, which I do not want to do. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But I did see someone on Facebook um, post the Goblin with this hoodie off. I don't know how to do it. Um, I have to cut it, which I don't want to do. Um, so I'm not probably going to go that route. But either way, let's get to the figure here. Let's get to the figure itself. This is awesome. So we're going to put the goblin head on because I think the goblin head is what everyone wants to see. Um, so let me let me take a second and pop this on because this might take me a second because this is going to be probably pretty tough. Um, some you know some Marvel Legends are easy to pop heads on and off of, but th this one I think is going to give me some trouble. So give me a minute. Uh, okay, let me give me a minute here. Hmm. I think I got it. I think I got it. I don't think it's on there too tight yet, but for the review purpose and sake of time, we're just going to leave it like that because um, it is, it is I, yeah, it's not definitely on the whole way, but I'll get it on there after the video is over. So yeah, this, this figure is good, man. Um, this, this is awesome. Uh, this is definitely bringing me back to my childhood in 2002 uh, and everything like that. This is awesome. This is definitely going to go down as figure of the year. So of course he has that purple hoodie on, which I'm going to probably, I mean, I want to take it off, but I don't know how to, I'm going to try to figure out a way to do it without damaging it. Um, but as you see here, the only complaint I really have is, is this. So you could see, I don't have the figure down the whole, the head down the whole way, but you could kind of see that there is like his, his skin color is showing here, which is obviously not, you know, accurate in the movie. He actually had a turtleneck 
that was green. So I think they should have definitely uh, went with the turtleneck look because I remember when he was like by that trash can talking to the mask, he had a turtleneck um, on, on his green suit. So that's not accurate. I wish it would be. Of course, he has a satchel here for his pumpkin bombs. Um, really cool tech, man. I, I do like this figure. Of course, on the sides here, he has some ammunition. It looks like shotgun shells for whatever reason. He has um, some wrist gauntlets. Now, this side, I will say I'm not too fond of this. So my prongs were like intertwined. If you saw that there just a second ago, they're kind of warped. I don't like that. I do not like that. Um, that should not be the case. That should not be the case at all. See, look, see how they're warped? Yeah, that's definitely a, a negative point on my end. Um, but overall, I mean, that's an easy fix. I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, overall, to wrap this video up, of course, he could do the splits. He has all the, all the, you know, he has pinless legs. He has, I believe, pinless elbows. Yes, he does. So he's got all the hits going on here. He has these drop-down hips. Yes, they are. Look at that. Drop-down hips. Look at that. I didn't even notice that at first. Yeah, drop-down hips. Man, this is awesome, man. This figure, like I said a minute ago, is probably going to go down as probably one of the best Marvel Legends of 2023. Um, there's a reason why everyone's buying this figure and you can't find it online. It's selling out literally everywhere right now. It's sold out on on Target, it's sold out on GameStop, it's sold out in store. This place or this this figure is nice. This figure is is definitely one you're gonna want to display. Of course, with the head, I mean, like this is just like awesome, man. Like, look at that. It's just awesome. So overall, to wrap this review up, um, like I said, be prepared because we're gonna have a lot of reviews here on the channel on uh, the next couple days. It's Spider-Man week, that's what I'm calling it. Of course, his hand, let's see if it's pumpkin balm. Yes, it, look at that. It fits like a glove. Look at that. It snaps into, I don't know if you heard that, but it snaps in his hand. That is awesome. So yeah, that's definitely how we're displaying him on the glider. So overall, and he falls, overall, this figure is good. I'm going to give this figure an A-. minus. Why I say A- minus is the stand is kind of hard to, to deal with for now until I figure it out. The glider, it, it's kind of, I don't want to say it feels flimsy, but at the same time, it kind of does feel flimsy. I wish the the silver on here would have been more metallic uh, because in the movie, it's that's that's what it is. Of course, the undercarriage here, you got the whole the whole shebang here. Um, yeah. So overall, I'm gonna give this figure an A minus. Uh, I, I do think they should have give you an option to remove this this uh, this hoodie. I think I, I mean unless I'm not seeing it, I don't think there's a way to undo it. Unless I have to cut it like right here or something or through the back. Um, I have to figure out maybe a way how to do it. I have to ask that guy on Facebook if I find his post again. Overall, this figure is nice. So you should definitely go buy this. If you're a Raimi Spider-Man fan or a Spider-Man fan in general, you, you got to have this figure. I mean, this is an absolute essential figure to the collection, any Spider-Man collection ever. So guys, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to try to finagle with this. I'll probably post some pictures on my timeline, on my community tab, what the final result is after I get things figured out on how to, you know, display them and things like that. So guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.